My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 71 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be taking a look at the characteristics of homologous series. In the previous episode, we agreed that organic compounds are not orphans. They are not left to suffer and die. They belong to families. They are not homeless. And the family of organic compounds is referred to as homologous homologous series which makes homologous series to be family of organic compound which follow a regular structural pattern and one of the characteristics of homologous series is that each member differ from others by a CH2 group CH2 in episode number 73 I shall be drawing out the various homologous series, their functional group, and every other thing you need to know. But before then, look at this. If you understand, fine. If you don't understand, don't worry. In episode 73, you actually see the homologous series. Remember we said that carbon is tetravalent. So, if you have carbon, it can carry a maximum of four electrons. If this happens, you put hydrogen here, you put hydrogen here, you put hydrogen here, you put hydrogen here. Carbon is now saturated. Saturation means it has exactly the same, exactly the number of elements it can be bonded to. No bond is left untouched. From here, we have C, one carbon, and four hydrogen, that is CH4, or C1H4. This is referred to as methane. The next member of this compound will simply be the one with two carbon. If we have the one with two carbon, since one carbon, two, the third member will be the one with three carbon. But let's focus on this second member. Yeah, there is already one bond here. So this carbon is left with three bonds. Here is left with three bonds. When you look around, carbon, one, two, three, four. Carbon, one, two, three, four. So let's say oxygen are attached to all these guys. When carbon is one, we have four hydrogen. Second member, carbon is two. That is C2. How many hydrogen do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. C2, H6. Let's try to see a third member. Third member will be the one with 3 carbon. 3. So this one has one bond already, which means 3 more will work. This carbon has one bond there, one bond there. So it means the remaining two. So the four bonds are complete. Here, there's already one. So we have one here, we have one here, we have one here. So this carbon bond is complete. Here, and 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 here. How many carbons do we have? C3. How many hydrogens do we have? One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hydrogen is 8. So, this is the first member of the arcane. I am not mentioning the homologous series or using special names yet. This is because we've not reached there. I'm just trying to explain 
successive rebirths for you. Just one step at a time. Don't rush or overthink. <laughs> Everything will be covered more than you even expect. But this is referred to as Vite, which is the most abundant constituent of natural gas. This guy is Ite. This guy is Propane. The air is not even to make you know the name. All these are just side attractions. But this is the point I am making. This one is number, uh, member one, one carbon. This one is member two, two carbon. This one is member three, three carbon. If you look at these members, you see that they have carbon and oxygen throughout with single bond. Here, yeah, carbon with all the bonds single and hydrogen attached. This is carbon with single bond throughout and oxygen attached. It means that these guys are similar. The difference between here and here is this one has one carbon, two carbon. So if you subtract two carbon from one carbon, you have one carbon left. This one has six hydrogen. This one has four. Six hydrogen minus four hydrogen. That is two hydrogen. So CH2. Now let's see the difference between number two and number three. This one has three carbon. This one has two carbon. Three carbon minus two carbon. That is one carbon. This one has 8 hydrogen and that one has 6. 8 hydrogen minus 6 hydrogen. That is our 2. You see that each member they differ by a CH2 group. If you are to draw the one with 4 carbon and adding hydrogen throughout, following the rule that carbon must carry multiple of 4 bonds, you will see that the difference between the third and the fourth is also CH2. So each member of the molecular series. Each member of the family, irrespective of their functional group, which you shall see in the next episode, they differ by a CH2 group. This is the first characteristic of homologous series. The second characteristic of homologous series is that each family members of the series they have similar method of preparation. So when you choose a representative, a representative member and you know the method of preparation. Other members of that family will have similar method of preparation. Now, other properties of homologous series are successive members differ by a weight of 14 units. Look at this. If successive members differ by a CH2, CH2 is referred to as methylene. Carbon 12, hydrogen 1 times 2. The mass of this CH2 is 12 plus 2 that is 14 so if each successive members differ by ch2 group or methylene it means that each successive member differ by a weight of 14 units if this is 14 units the next one will be 14 units heavier the next one will be 14 units heavier than the previous one and they have the same functional group but different archive group we shall see this in the next episode. The physical properties of homologous series will begin to change gradually as you go down the series. The more you have, because as you go down the series, you have more and more and more number of carbons. Members of homologous series, they have the same functional group. So, since they have the same functional group, they will show similar chemical properties. We shall see functional group in the next episode and finally members of a particular series or particular homologous series they will contain the same element ladies and gentlemen that is it homologous series of organic compounds in the next episode we shall look at functional group archive group and one or two things to know in the next two episodes we shall see all the homologous series their general formula and Things we need to know about them. Don't be scared. I will make sure I make organic chemistry easy for you, as easy as ABC. Just keep an open mind, get the flash in exam app, and try to see questions under what I've explained before. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out any video. 
reach out to me on all of my social handles either i am last isaac or last Nenas. these are my social handles or whatsapp and telegram if you want to go personal guys see ya in the next